and then go to my blocks, make a and name it 3D. And then we've clicked 3D. And what we do is we repeat 20. Create clone myself. But we do motion, then go in motion, change y by minus 1. So now we get this pretty cool 3D effect. Now you can change that to go 3D by 1 if you want pointing the other direction, or if you want an angle, you could do that. Now it is often helpful to select the, oh, the border and just remove the outline. Like this. But now we can't see it, so we just go. Like that. Item group. Down to ungroup and go down to again. And now we have this pretty nice 3D looking shape. Let's just go ahead and delete this. Now, how will we make it be able to rotate? Well, first of all, we want to go hide here. But now we won't be able to see our 3D. So go to when I start as clone. Show. Now we got the 3D effect, but you'll notice it always starts to climb. So we want it to when green flag click go to x zero y zero. So then after we do that. It will always appear like that. Now I'll give you some time to code that. Okay. Now that you've coded that, we want it to be able to be rotated. So we go, if, we'll put in two ifs. And then we go, put in the key space pressed. Then go right arrow and left arrow. Now after you did that, we want to go motion. Right arrow, turn right 15 degrees, and left arrow, turn the opposite direction. That also leads us to go point in direction 90 at the beginning. So now, by clicking, oh yeah, never forget to add the forever. Now by clicking, we can really coolly spin our 3D sprite around. It is not... This is just for a model, um, because I haven't yet figured out how to add this to a game. But it's pretty cool to make multiple costumes and play around with. Like, you can add, let's say, my Epic Mario Fails Mario model and make it 3D. Let's try out this. So my Epic Mario Fails Mario model, and then we duplicate the sprite delete what's in it, and then add the new one. Now, 
There should be a little plus somewhere in the costume. Sometimes it's hard to find it. It's right here. And then you drag that so it snaps into the center so it rotates good. Like that. Now when we click it, we still get cat. Why is that? Because there was a weird glitch in my system. And so we got 3D Mario, but we want it to start as cat. So we add another thing to the beginning script. Now, if key space press, and then we go looks next costume and 3D. Now, the delete this cone, clone does not go anywhere. Never mind. So now, that is a weird glitch. And I've got too many clones. Because, we want to go. Oops. We go to events, broadcast message one, rename it, or if this is an extension, I can't remember, new message. And then name it delete all clone. And put it at the beginning. And with that, we repeat 20. Delete this clone, and then we put. And actually, delete the old clones, but we want to broadcast the old clones and wait. So then, it won't go to the next part until this part is done. So we go like this, and we got this perfect thing. But you can notice it's climbing again. So we want to take the go to zero zero out of there, and we put it on the top of go three D. Now, see that's a glitch. Um, I don't know how to fix that, but you just click space again to fix that glitch. Now, one final thing. You notice, um, if you spin it as it's processing, it creates this cool thing. And look, you notice kind of moves we don't want that so we go to edit 3d and we go run without screen refresh and then it just automatically goes 3d and you can't run that glitch anymore and that's how you make 3d sprites in scratch that's the video And that is the end. Hope this was helpful. Bye.